hi everyone welcome to my channel if you're new here you're very welcome if you're a subscriber or you continue to visit this channel from time to time thanks so much for coming this is Hannah Tiger and nice having you here the tutorial today is on how to make a cow sleeve so guys let's get cracking you want to grab a pattern paper and make sure the width of the paper will accommodate your ham hole plus extra allowance so also the length of the paper will accommodate the sleeve itself and the cow you want to fold over like that into half so you have your place on fold measure 12 inches I've chosen to make my sleeve 12 inches if you want your sleeve to be longer you can go for a longer sleeve like 18 inches 20 inches it's up to you once that is done you want to grab your ruler and roll a line across then I'm gonna mark 3 inches over there and draw out my ham hole my ham hole is my ham hole circumference divided by 2 plus sewing allowance now you want to determine how much of cow you want but I'm gonna stick with 12 inches I have 12 inches as the length of my sleeve and I'm having 12 inches as my cow you can go for 15, 16, 18. It depends how much of cow you want, but I'm taking 12 inches for mine. Now you want to mark 3 inches along the width up there and connect that to the sleeve we've drafted before. So it's basically like having two sleeves now. Looking at the sleeve, the top sleeve seems as if it's got a long armhole, right? And the bottom sleeve is your exact armhole, both connected together to form the cow sleeve. Now you want to mark your ham width measurement. It's also called the ham round. Your ham circumference divided by 2 plus sewing allowance. So I'm marking 7 inches here. The ham circumference is 14 inches. And 14 inches divided by 2 is 7 inches plus sewing allowance. You want to make your own marking and connect it to the ham hole. Now grab your scissors and cut out the sleeve. You will have something like this after cotton. Now we'll move on to the next stage. You want to grab your tape rope. You want to mark 2.5 inches along the width. Then mark 3 inches along the length. So that's 2.5 marked already. Then you want to mark 3 inches along the length right place it by the 2.5 right and mark three inches and once that is marked you want to grab your ruler and row lines across so you row your first line there by the three inches and you row the line right there by the 2.5 Now you want to start adding the measurement for the cow. So 
you want to start from the second line from the three inches and mark one inch then you mark three inches again then you mark one inch then three inches again and the three inches stops along my ham hole there so I've got one inch three inches one inch another three inches so I'm gonna just roll a line across you want to do the same I want you to take note if you've got 15 inches or 18 inches as the cow you have to follow the measurements you've got and just mark the one inch and the three inches and work accordingly then I'm gonna apply notches along those lines so you want to apply notches guys along those lines you've drawn Once that is done, you want to open up your sleeve and start working on the cow. I want you to take note of this bit very well. So I'm going to be working along the notches I've made, the one inch, the three inches. So what I'll do, as this isn't a fabric, it's a paper, so it might not show you what to expect properly of a fabric. So second notch you place it on the first notch like that grab a pin and pin that together the second as well you apply it to the next notch so I'm still applying the pins here You want to carry on watching what I'm doing? Once all the pleats are in place, you should have something like this. So the cow is properly formed here. After all the pleats have been made, make sure the ham hole is right. This is very important. Check the ham hole again to make sure it's what you want. So I went ahead and placed the pattern paper on a fabric and I cut it out and I applied the same notches the same way as it is on the paper pattern paper and look at it I pinned it exactly what I did on the pattern paper and make sure you check your ham hole again that is very important and this is what it looks like I've placed the sleeve on my mannequin and look at it this is a beautiful cow sleeve you can't go wrong once you go with the measurement I have shown you you shouldn't go wrong with your cow sleeve and like I said you can choose to have your sleeve longer I use 12 by 12 the sleeve is 12 and the cow is 12 if you want to go with my measurement that's fine thanks so much for watching I hope this will help someone in drafting their own cow sleeve 
Make sure to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, look after yourself and bye for now.